guys, back once again. I'm running out of steam, feeling pretty sick, getting kind of dizzy. So I'll probably be done for the night. Uh, I don't know if I'll be back tomorrow, see how we're feeling, uh, running out of energy. But I wanted to make one last video, but uh, quickly like to mention, if you're looking at the game, Fished in Town to Remember, it's on sale right now, so now is a really good time to buy it, show a little support if you're interested. If you're not, that's perfectly fine, but I just thought I'd mention it. So, let's get started. Today we are going to start a gas pump series, and we'll see how many people watch and how many people like it. I really don't know what to make. Every time I make something, and I think it's going to be popular, it's not so great. And then I make something that I think nobody's going to really need, like bathrooms, and I get you know, three or four hundred views on it. And I just don't understand, but <laughs> I'll just keep going and we'll figure it out. Uh, probably want to undo that last one. So we want a certain shape. Let's just go uh, like that. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and edit mode. Try to be as quick as we can here. Something like this. We're just going to make the stand that the gas pump is going to sit on. You can round the edges, you can leave it sharp if you want, up to you. Something like that. Right, so next we'll make a square. This is going to be our main gas pump. So we will do some adjusting. It's probably the right size mostly. Except for we'll go longer one way. And we'll go obviously taller, taller one way, something like that. Um, that's about the right height. Um, so we will copy the square. Shift D. Sorry, Shift D. Oh my God! Not doing well today. Sorry about that, guys. As the day rolls on, I feel worse and worse and worse. As <laughs> so I'm starting to get a little fuzzy. Probably shouldn't be making a video. Probably should have just took a break. But I want to do, uh, get one last one out here. So we're just going to shift D this. And we're going to bump it up here. And we will shift D this. And then we'll minus it from this shape. I'll take this one, which is now a little bit smaller, and we'll make it just a little bit smaller this way. Okay, and it's just going to give us the look of a screen. Um, maybe we want it a little taller. That should be a bit right, I think. I'll take this one, and we're just going to make ourselves a sign for the top of it. And if we want to punch the middle shape out for it's a separate piece and you can make it a separate color, you can. It's probably going to be less damaging to than to inset it. But up to you again. Let's just take this one, shrink it a little bit. And we'll just do the same thing as we did with the screen, basically. Shift D it. And then take that shape away from this shape. And it'll just give us the look we want without having to fix it after. Otherwise, we'd have to... Um, cut it up a certain way again to make all the vertices and everything line up for coloring. Especially if you're going to texture it or something like that. Anyhow, we'll grab this piece, we'll shift D it, move it over here, and we are going to make it smaller obviously. Not that small though. Something like that. And we're going to take it down, set it in, and this isn't in the middle, so we can't use our axis trick to make it perfectly on the other side, but luckily we just needed to be about the same. Okay, and we're going to have to do two things. We're going to have to shift D it, <coughs> and then take it out of this inner sh s shape, like this, difference, and then we're going to shift D it. And take it out of this shape. And we're going to have to do the same on the other side. 
Okay, so now we should have a direct hole all the way through. It stops eventually. Let's just do the same on the other side. Ship D. And then shift D. And we should have the same thing on both sides now. Basically a hole going all the way through to the other side. And that's probably perfect for what we want. If you want, we could make this have a hole in it as well and just be a bit bigger for there's an outset on the outside. But I think this is going to be fine for the look we're going for. We're just going to make some basic pumps today. If people watch or if you guys comment, you'd like to see more detailed one. Then we'll do a more detailed one. But this is going to do it for now. I'm just going to show you the basic of it. So let's get this ready. This is going to be our handle. Um, have to size it a little bit. Let's give it the general shape we want. Something like that. Okay. And what do we want to do? We want this in edit mode. We want to grab these edges. Control B. Round them a little bit. Perfect. Shift D. S and then shrink it just a little bit just a little bit and we're gonna move it down just a hair too like that okay we'll minus that shape from that shape okay perfect and then we will get a cylinder Oh my god, my head's fuzzy. Sorry guys, I'm trying. I'm trying here. I shouldn't have just bothered making this video, but we'll get it done. Something like that. And then we're going to go in here and push Shift R. And we're going to right click to let it center itself. And then we're going to take this arrow and just move that up just a hair like that. Okay. And then we're going to stretch this out a little bit. And then we're going to shrink it down. And we're going to shrink it down. And hopefully this works for you guys. Um, you have no issues with it. I'm going to put it on a bit of an angle. It's 90 now, so we'll do uh, 80. The wrong way. So we'll go 110. That looks pretty good to me. Um, let's move this and this back. And then let's take this one and stretch it a little bit. And let's take this end. We'll go in faces. We're just going to shrink it down a little bit. Like that. So it tapers to the one end. Now let's just move this around a little bit. So it just looks proper. I think it'd be up about here. And we'll attach them. And then we're going to put S. And when you're happy with the size, you're going to run it in here. Something like that. And we'll shift D. And run it to the other side since we can't use our axes, unfortunately. I wasn't thinking, apparently. And we'll 180 here. Alright, so we got our pumps, and then we just got to make a hose and flip it to the other side, and we're pretty much done, guys. See if you want to add a little few buttons to it, it might make sense. If you want to make it for you can pick a grade of gas, that would be fine. But I'm not going to bother, and if you guys want me to do more detail, let me know, and I'll come back and we'll revisit, and we'll do a more detailed version. Okay, so what we need to happen here is that needs to be 90, probably. That's wrong. That's wrong. And that's right. Alright, so let's move this down. Let's go into edit mode. We'll grab this guy, arrows, and flip it around. Something like that. Uh, 
just get the ideas once we get it connected in here we should be able to kind of adjust it afterwards so that's probably about right and then all we got to do is hit E and if we push um, Z yeah it'll get it right on the right axis and we'll just bring it down and push E and we want to make sure we're on the right axis which would be why? I'll we'll just do something like this. Okay. And that runs it up to our handle and down into the machine. And then when we're ready, we'll go down here, go to geometry, and we'll just give it a little bit of depth. Maybe a bit more. Maybe keep going until you're happy. Okay and um, we'll flip out of edit mode, we'll right click it and we will ch 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 convert to no. what is it that we want to do? what was convert to? yeah convert to mesh, I'm sorry my bad 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 um, we can do those if you want, you can pull it out now and you just pick out um, where you don't want it to be anymore and do faces. Hopefully I didn't do too many, but I think it was around there. And then when we run it in here, it's a little just a little more perfect, right? Something like that. I think that looks pretty good. Hopefully you do too. And we could do two things. We can just copy this and reflip it around, or we could just send the one piece over. What I will probably do is I'll just copy the whole thing to make sure it all fits together over there. So we'll attach those two. Let's actually attach this to that. Control J. And then we'll Shift D. And we'll send this over here. And we'll go up here and do a 180. And we're set. And I won't bother doing coloring. You guys know how to color if you've been watching my videos by now. Hopefully and so if you guys need more details if you want to go into the store of the gas station let me know in the comments and we'll see what we'll do next but we just have one or two more steps before we go okay so we're going to attach this piece to this piece control j attach this piece to this piece control j attach this piece and this piece unless you want them to be separated if you want them to be separated leave them disattached and then you can just have this end move and the other end stay, stay fastened. But um, we also want to attach this to this, control J. And depending if you want to attach this to it, you don't have to, but you can. Up to you. If you want to leave that and make something in your game, that's fine too. I'll attach it for now. Oh, you know what? Let's go back one. And we can do this if we really want. We can shift D the whole thing. And just put a second one in if we want. Or we could use our axes actually. To make it more symmetrical. Just add a minus sign. Well that one didn't work out. <laughs> but that's easy enough to fix. And we'll just grab and drag that one over. There we go. Perfect. And now we have matching pumps on either side. Alright, well, thanks for watching. Make sure you thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. And check out Fished in a Town to Remember. Remember, it's on sale right now if you're listening to this really close to when this video came out. You'll probably enjoy it. It's pretty cheap right now. So, anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.